the chest. When it comes in from the sea to show 20 bases, you see no less no more. What is it? What comes from sea? Fog. So that's that's where we were going. We're going that way. Let's camp camp here. Yeah, it's still a painful. Rations. Do we need rations? No, we don't. Or 10, 10, uh, 27 for three guys. Name's Lucian. He introduced himself as he slapped his quest on their backs. Not to meet you, haven't had visitors f in some while. You know, it gets kind of lonely up here, and kids won't, don't go down too often. You have kids? They are Marvel, and don't think you do. Think you. They are Marvel, don't you think? And Laura says, Look and freeze and give it a savage twist, forcing shiny sovereign to fall from the man's painted fingers. Everyone's watch it shocked silence as the gold clattered on the floor. I almost didn't feel you napping that from my purse, Locklear said. You're not a bad thief, but not good enough. I wonder how Locklear has learned this. Don't kill me, Lucan plead. Please, I don't have anything to give you, but I'll do anything. I'll teach you, teach you what. I'll teach you, yes. Spare you my life and teach you what I know about locks, everything. What do you dare say? Yes, please. Very well, Lucian. You may teach us, but leave here with any less than we came with. No, 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 you have my word. I'll go and fetch my practice locks and I'll be like right that. Nice try, but no, you're staying here. Just tell Korat where your lo practice locks are and he'll fetch them, then we start all lessons. Having resigned himself to the fact that he wasn't going to escape, Lucan lectured and demonstrated for the better part of the day before. He set his practice lock aside. That's it. That's all in all. Good enough. I think we will be on our way now. And Lucan, well, for your continued health, I would suggest yeah, that you get out of the TV business. Well, this was good. Getting, getting in lock, lock picking. 32. The wooden man. Okay, so they have Okay, these are pretty expensive. Look like smiled, although the approaching man seemed half at hand, sort of the passage of 11 years. His halting stride was still personal to him. Ages past, Isaac has suffered his limb proudly, burned it like an injury sustained on the field of battle, and for that he had gained the respect of the admiration of Grondor's young squares. Locklear among them is tracking expulsion from Arts Arutsas' court has been blown to them all. 
I don't remember what, what the background was of this was. The years have worn you well, old squire, despite the fact that it uh, seems to have darkened your heart, hair a bit. But did, did you do stick your head to the barrel of the bitch? Scoundrel, I would have thought you strung up for impersonating the, the do by now. How are you, Isaac? It's been uh, since Arutas' wedding, has, hasn't it? The very day you said to heard the fit master of the ceremonies just the lazy when through when he found out I wasn't the count of Dorgin's son, I dare say he would have been tossed me over the palace walls himself if he hadn't been busy with the details of the blessed event. Um, I've kept busy since then, spent the last few years on the road, doing odd jobs along the border. You would be surprised at all the things I've learned and seen since uh, I left Grondor. Surprise me then, you always were a rumor monger. Well then, what would you like to know about? Traps. You assume those traps were laid for you, perhaps they were laid to prevent someone in the east from sleeping west. I can't see any real adult not keeping some out of the Hawks Hollow or L'Oreal, but I can see very definite av advantage of keeping some out of Lamut. I think you would be better advised move south and west away from whoever is laying them out. Safe passage. I've just returned from the military assignment and it's imperative that I get south as soon and as inconspicuously as possible. Are there any places you think we should avoid? At all costs, you'll want to avoid the road from Egli to Tanners. There's festival to be held in Egli, and it's likely your eleven companion would be spotted right away. Uh, I think Egli is not a totally different way. Yeah. Oh, so it's south from here. What makes you think we are off to Krondor? <laughs> Why not? Elves don't come much out of Elvandar, and they are even less likely to have a company of boy and senior when they uh, do take the voyaging. So he's, he's believing that uh, Kohtarik is from Elvandar, which is place of high elves, basically. Whatever you three are about, I assume the it most involved the good of the kingdom, Krondor would be the only logical place for you to go. Mind readers. These roads seem to litter with the anxious anti those anxious to anticipate our movements. Do you know anyone in this area that seems to have usual unusual skills? Someone who seems like they know your thoughts. No, for a fact I can't say that I have, but a certain poker player that I've lost great deal money in, in to inegly comes to the mind. Name of Devon, I believe. To be quite a while to make him up the funds I lost during the single night playing against him. He very nearly took every sovereign I made in a month's time. I'm writing that up. As, I much, as much as I would like to stand about gossiping, I suppose the three need to hear back to the road before Prince Arutha sends us. So it's party for us. The prince is expecting you then. Please send to his highness my regards. I shall take care of yourself, Isaac. But 
when they actually had uh, you could actually see pretty actually much better than than normally in in these days because fact is uh, in current day games there's like all sorts of bushes and grass and that effectively hides everything you want to find. Okay, that's a bird. Ovin's scouting ability has. Let's fight. Ah, it's a trap. And there's a wizard. I can't, can't shoot to the close combat. Come on. Grandpa. Piece of paper dangled from the doorknob. At all costs. Travelers should be avoid to contact with Orno, going quite widely as Orno the Pale. A ton contagion of unknown proportions has already led to the illness of three people avoid any contact with. The door swing open him. Orbit strengthened himself. As a haggard-looking man in his mid-twenties appeared in the doorway, his face uh, covered with bloody handkerchief. Are you... you are Orno? Yes, he wheezed to the handkerchief. And you are on my doorstep. Get away for her, you get yourself infected. What's wrong with you? The man shook his head. Don't know, doctors don't. No priest don't know. Nobody knows. Only persons that survive is Missile the healer. But his sees face of in lawyer. Uh, I see, Lockyer said. Well, we'll be off now. Sorry to have bothered now. I should will be should chill. Oh, others. That's that's insane. Insane cost of Yeah. We are reloading game because this this was stupidly expensive. That's a tavern. Where's the healer shot? Shopkeeper. Okay, he, he's not buying that. And that. Kingdom's good. El cask. Rope, torch. Strategies of trading. Okay. Everyone here is fun, well, except for Michelle the healer. I hope you are not planning to visit her. Why? She's a snake. Told me that I was going to die. But you know what? 
I got better. Oh, I felt horrible enough for the three or four days and thought I was going to die, but no, I made it through alive. I tell you, I think she and Orno, the pale, have some kind of deal. She's giving some kind of contagion and she's administering some kind of phony medicine. It's indecent. Uh, do we, do we, do we uh, believe or not? Michelle escorted them inside. The house was small but well appointed. Its furniture was very tasteful indeed for someone who seemed to be only a commoner. You require my services, she stated. You are ill. Okay, see if there's any change. You sound very set up for yourself. You have the signs. I can heal you, but I require payment. 25 severance. Will you pay? That's an awfully less money. Very well. Lay back on the moment and I will do my work. You are now all on heat. You might go now. Interesting. This is... This is pretty interesting. Condition normal. I'm Kiefer Alskook. Have you come to buy yourself some curing? Games. We are looking for the ruby that might have been stolen by a group of grey warriors. Have you purchased any gemstones from such men? I don't know what you are talking about. I don't buy stolen merchants as you might try talking to fellow around in the notes of Hulk so about it. Name's Isaac. Hmm, I think we have met him. Uh, if I recall, if the man looked about nervously, I'm uh, not open to business right now. You'll have to go, come back later. Kiefer had closed the door. Okay, that's a bit sus. Are we on the right, right track? I thought you were off to meet the Prince Arthur. So did I, but. I've been muddling about talking care of a few other errands. It's just like we happened on you again. I shall consider it good fortune then, so what I can do for you. Stolen games. Did you uh, by any chance purchase a rubby from Kiefer Elskook in Loriai? He told us he sold it to someone named Isaac, and the description he gave you is so sounded like you. Why? Do you want to buy it from me? It's not like it's only ruby. In the world, you know. Uh, was stolen from the Surani Magican who was bird passing to Ladmut. The garrison to would like to let the, like the stone back. We were hoping we could talk you into at least returning to Kiefer to get your money back. I'm sorry to hear about your dilemma, but I had uh, no idea. The stone was stolen, then I paid key first price, and I have my own little problem. I need to the stone so I can pay off the sword crafter to and get my blade repaired. Can't you play with him? gold? He specifically bought us in gems, and the ruby will cover my cost plus a little more. I should have any enough left over to eat for a month or more. But if he can repair your sword for you? But here, in the middle of the road? Since I don't have a workshop, I don't see that we can do any, it anywhere else. Uh, do you really think you are that good? Yes, we are actually think, thinking thinking we are that good. Well, I suppose my blade is fairly expensive. I had to see further damage. It's conceivable that you uh, could do more harm than good, so unless you are really skilled. Your blade. Please be careful. I paid quite a bit for it. Well, I have to say this. You appear to know what I have been doing. It looks much, much better than it did. And it will hold uh, the edge. You could cut up the whole Delecan Moss Rangers and it's still, it would be still sharp for a month later. Well, it looks like you have come through your end. Uh, of the park and then remind me to give you the ruby before you leave. So where's this miracle working weapon smith you were talking about? 
Might be worthwhile to go and have a long purpose repaired. The shop in High Castle named the Battleworks. It's a long way to go, but their work is impressive. Okay, interesting stuff we found. We have lots of skills. Uh, everything seems to be pretty, pretty okay at this point. Let's review our progress. So, guys are a bit of mess. Eat this and call in the morning. Then we camp for night. Okay, he's, he's healing pretty well. This took some time for them to assemble. I thought perhaps the assassins uh, that had attacked us thus far had followed us to the incidental. But there are mo too many of them, even the chased renegade like Korath. Delekhan has to be calling the spies on every place within the kingdom. Delekhan is Dark Elf's mortal uh, leader, actually. But Delekhan hits on Sarisagoth. Word of my escape could have traveled as we have come. The fact that we have been attacked this far south suggests otherwise. I have never been witness of it, but I have heard of the talent called Mind Speech. Very few magicians have it, but the uh, ability allows men to communicate over very long distances. Perhaps Delekhan might have hired such hell. It's entirely possible even before I escaped from this fortress, I was, it was rumored that magicians with whom he was been keeping company had such talents. I know that, I know that his Assistant Nako came, came to have sub powers, such powers, but I never saw evidence of such. And if the elegance has the capacity, then undoubtedly he shall use his assistance. So we will have to be cautious and watch out for any who seem to like, seem to like magicians as we head for the ground door. Both of you keep your eyes open. Pass was empty. It's a five day journey if the sign is to be believed. It would be also be an excellent place to stage an ambush. Do think we should take that chance? This pass. Disliking the exposed feeling created by Defile, they moved quickly during the nights, left the day resting on the rocky overhangs and listening for assassin footsteps. At last, food, sore, and rope via where they emerged near the coast of the Bitter Sea. So now basically we are in a different area. Right here. And Eglis base where, where basically we had like well, some kind of a clue that we should actually check. But then again, they warned that uh, Kohtar might be kind of noticed. At their small camp. Oh, right. What's got there? The, the, um, the light pre breaks out, but never falls. The light one, light one breaks, but never falls. His father falls, but never breaks. 
it's not the break of the day. Spell flame cast, yes. I go, well, I have already have a flame cast. The man who greeted them at the door smelled of fish. Folks might call me Canthy, he said after Locklear introduced himself. After a few more minutes of friendly conversation, he revealed he was a fisherman, but he hadn't been out of the, his boat for several days due to his health. As he poked, he threw dark looks at the unseen thing over, over his shoulder. Locklear was about to ask him another question when Chanty suddenly mumbled something angry and slammed the door closed. No amount of coaxing could convince him to open it again. Beard. That that was odd. Feels like every everyone is a bit odd in these parts. Actually, we didn't check from here. Ah, there's a chest, but there's also what's that? Okay. Okay, there was a trap which was misplaced. Three! A precious gift this, yet it has no end or beginning and in the middle nothing. Doesn't have an end or beginning, and uh, in the middle, nothing. Four words. A, a ring. Huh. Uh, be you ever so quick with vision keen, but your or your eyes we are never seen unless pre 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 chance it should come to pass. You see our reflection in a looking glass. Be you ever be so quick, vision keen. By your eyes. What do you do see in a reflection? Eyes. <laughs> Fun funny thing that the hint. Play can actually tell the correct correct answer. Fester's view. Come in, come in, time to gorgeous young woman. A brightly curled apron. She held the cottage door open, kneeling in front of the stone fireplace. Young man was placing several logs in the cracking fire. 
This man looked uh, with a smile. Yes, please. We just finished eating, but I had some luck fishing today, so there's plenty to go around. Locklear's nostrils flare as, his, as he welcomes the smell of the barbecued sea bass and the fresh bread still lingering in the air. It's tempting offer, but I'm afraid we must be going. A drink of fresh water will suffice, of course. But I want me, me, you take some food with you. Small package for each of you, good for two days at least. She's quite a cook, you know. Yes. With a smile, the young man motioned his wife. He moved to her and helped to prepare the rations, stopping only enough to act several key moments. Somewhat credible fishing story about big one that got away. When they were through hundreds of packages to Locklear, who accepted them gracefully. You've been too kind, she said. The man called. Apparently far more intent on something going on across the common room, he seemed to uninterested Locklear. Repeated up them to Jack. At last he glanced up gave an expert its side. What actually do you want? Just a little friendly talk, Locklear said with a companionable smile. News gossip song, perhaps. Well, go and find the bloody juggler, <laughs> and then leave me be. Got better things to do than enter the elevator jack about that comes through the dirt door. Passing up from the business of cleaning his fingernails with a boot knife, the man regarded the, them frostly motioning with the tip of his knife for them to quickly make their business known. That's very ni nice knife. Gessian is in it, Locklear commented carefully. Where did you chance to purchase it? The man smiled, showing uneven brown teeth. Who said I bought it? Ah, Locklear said taking hold of Owen's suit sleeve. Well, I think my company here promised me to drink before we came in, and I think it's well night time, so I collect on it. Good day to you, perhaps we can speak again. And across the room. Sometimes I come to this place to drink and gap, the man said, but sometimes I came to gap. Well then, perhaps you could tell us Oklahoma beginning. Before he could finish, the man interpreted, Today I just came to drink. Haha. <laughs> mm. That was interesting, the keeper said. Loyal lucky the patrons are drunk tonight against my better judgment they are demanding I pay you here. Okay, we got some money. Wow. Locklear knocked loudly. Presently a fine dressed man greeted them as the spoke he wiped sweat from this bro with the silk handkerchief. Fine day, don't you think, Uncvet Quester? Have you come to for a lesson? He has his eyebrows raised a uh, hopeful arc. Lesson, Uncvet Lockhart, Locklear. Um, the man disappeared into the house and returned with a blunt tipped fence in foil. Have you come to learn the uh, final arts for swordmanship? He asked, punctating his quest and several impressive maneuvers. I could give you a quick lesson for only 75 sovereigners. How does that sound? Wonderful! Oh, I'm so pleased to have you accepted my offer. As Kurt followed Tad into small house, he was trifle concerned about man's credentials. After all, this strutting peacock, little peacock looked as though he had, had never been in a fight of in his life. Their doves quickly disappeared at that took them through the final points of Swordus 
Yeah. <laughs> Some kind of sword master, apparently. Though he may not have much experience in the field, if as into, he was master of this art. He was even able to offer Owen a few pointers how to best use this staff in a hand-to-hand -hand combat. The lesson lasted several hours and they were exhausted when they finished, but they agreed the money was well spent. That's it. That's amazingly good thing to happen, actually. That swing, swing connects that amazing amount of damage. This would be like good weapon for Korath. Let's switch with switch the weapons and check check what happens. Let's be, press forward. Uh, rope. I hope for you good health that you have found shelter against coming tempest, good sirs. Tempest. Surely you have heard the learned monks of Sard have predicted terrible storm is coming again. Uh, this way and I would try to think of anyone caught uh, in it. Why a man could catch his death in a few years. If you would like, you might ride it all to my barn. And what profit would you turn in this enterprise? Fecal sovereigns. A reasonable sum and a card over my cows. I can sleep in the hayloft of my barn, but my wife and, and, and don't, I don't take in elves. Seven gold pieces and the elves elves with us, and we each get a high, hard roll for bread, breakfast. Ten gold and a lot of you milk cows next morning. That's the offer. Take or leave it. Accept. Deal with this barn of yours. Keep heading south, you should pass the abyss of Ishab at Sart. You know you are right close when it when you have passed up the temple's sun. 
from there she just around the yellow mo mool mountain. When you find the barn, just knock the door and my wife will fix you up. Thank you, farmers, your hospitality will be remembered. Road that leads to the chest. Ah, it's a word. Puzzle. Buckets, barrels, baskets, cans, what you must fill with empty hands. Close. <laughs> Oh, what's this? Mint level plus ten. Hmm. Not not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Ah. Uh, they have a spell beaver. Ouch. How about you die? Yep, that 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 worked. it back throw in the face of victim oh oh this is this is fun be a barn a garden was nearby wrinkling his nose at the smell of the fresh fertilizer Which is poo. Uh, Owen pointed that the salt small cloud of dust that rose off the roadside. Within the cloud, a mushroom shaped man was hard to at work, so rising and dripping over the row of budding pink potato hours, flashing an impressive smile. Locklear crept up behind the monk. Well, brother Mark. Hello there, strangers. Hope we aren't disturbing you. No, 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 I was uh, about to leave the garden anyway. Pussy has the set in the mind of work, you know. Are you ready to start? Perhaps, brother. Brother Marco Sarth. Glad to meet you. We don't get many uh, irati here. Books don't seem to interest commoners as much as gold or benching. But we have a scholars enough all going blind from reading burn eaten books uh, and a dozen boys. Scribbling away their youth in the vaults. It is a unusual place. Uh, we have learned to visit here once. He told me that you worship the God of Knowledge. They don't say that yes, but uh, they do say that yes, and I suppose after a fashion it's true. If there uh, is a question that can be answered uh, in no other pla place, your best hope is to look in the vaults. In our worlds, casting. Do you know anything about spell casting? I know a little of it, though. Brother Dominic knows more about that than I. As soon as he finishes his studies in Quakian Kivil codes, I'm certain he would be more than happy to sit down and talk with, to, to you about it. He should be only uh, uh, another two or three months <laughs> at it, I would think. 
I'm afraid we don't have a two or three months to wait. Why don't we leave the brother alone if you took uh, no don't discourage the boy from asking questions or he'll became afraid to question anything. Think I'll have might have some time to teaching a bit about focusing if you can spare a few sovereigns, say fifty, it's that acceptable on everyone. Yes. What an acceptable where do we start? Ah then to to say student. Delightful. This will be a pleasure to teach. Olin blanched. He had been assigned to simple enough task as a telekinetic spell to move his satchel close to him. Instead, his satchel had remained obstinately stationed by hurling butter mark backwards into his well tended corpse. Are you alright? Owen gasped. I didn't mean to that, that to happen. You are still uh, depending on your eyes, Potter Mark, cited pushing a stalk of corn out of his face as he struggled his, to his feet. Concentrate. If you ever find yourself in a situation where you can see what you have affecting, all the spells in the world will be utter, utterly useful to you. Now, instead of trying to see your target, try to feel it. Now let's try it this again. No, I know that you learned this. Eventually. We don't have many any more time to waste, Korat said. Why won't you pick up your things and we can get ready to move Ovin. Again on his feet, Brother Mark went to console his dream downcast popil, patting him recursively on the shoulder. Remember, feel the target. That's the key until then I suggest you stock up on the good supply on Levstone's concentrate to get through to your exercises. Are there hazards on the road south from here to Crondor? We are in something of a hurry and would hate to run into any expected delays. <laughs> like we haven't delayed already. Uh, I haven't heard any comp complaints from the travelers that have been through here. In the past few weeks, I don't think the mercenaries had that stopped by to speak. Brother Dominic said anything of it. Mercenaries, they are not quirky empire press gangs, are they? Uh, not, my, not to my knowledge, no. This lot landed just south of Quester's Weave in a ship called Farm Spinner, as much as they have been up, been up and down on the road, I assume they were in on shore leave. But there are many of them. Many of them. So he he's probably thinking that they are after Gorath. If you let them head to the foot, I imagine you could walk across the Straits of Darkness without getting your feet wet. It seems one of the Quakian galleys can carry a small witch from one place to another. Bad weather. Is the, when is the storm going to hit? Storm. This is first I have such a metrological disturbance. Potter Gerom didn't mention it to me before I left the Abbey this morning. That's strange. We met gentleman Nell Rowe who said that storm had been predicted by the brothers of the, at the Abbey. I wonder if he would tell such a thing. Of course, he had been acting peculiar since he his wife died. Okay, he doesn't have a wife. Terrible tragedy and striking such a time when he had given up his farm. He had to give up his farm. Adeline must feel for the poor old soul. Sus. Um, perhaps there is a simple spell you could teach me. Owen, something simple so we can defend ourselves in case we run. Anyone hostile on the road? I don't know what you imagine is waiting out there. Well, army of pirates for for once. Uh, but I believe I have just a thing. I will have to run up the vaults to search for it. But it's a little spell called Flamecast. <laughs> I already know it. Of course, there will be no matter of fee, say, 30 soreness. I know precisely where it is you want me to run and get it alive. No thanks. Waltz. Is it primitive that outsiders browse the books in the waltz? I would 
be interested looking them over. It's fine with me, but Father Anthony, you may have to convince he doesn't like strangers wandering around down there without supervision. A number of rare and valuable books, and it would be the worst kind of tragedy to lose them to a casual, casual browser. I'll warn you though, you may have difficulty finding what this it is you want. Many of the books have never been catalogued, and unless you know very specifically what you are looking for, either by the scribe's name or the title of the work, you might not have find anything that will of any value to you. So they are worshipping kind of knowledge, but they are kind of losing the knowledge because bad bookkeeping. Okay. Ins. Do you know any good ins in the area? There are few. Babon's Hostel, Questers Free, that's okay. Or the Bywater Inn. If it went by to this year, I would be highly inclined to join you. Some acolyte somewhere has been trying to hand the dream sendings I've got, and I've not had a good night's sleep in weeks. Somebody is doing dream sending. Hmm. Dream sendings. It's a way to send messages over long distances. Sus. Only certain messengers have the talent for it. However, it, it is they cannot, can't be too far away because images are fairly strong. What they do they seem to be trying to say? I'm not certain. The images are disjointed. So now think of it, I thought uh, I had seen your elf friend's face before. Now I know why. His face was in the sendings. Seems we at least have a few things to think about. Thank you, Brother Mark. Always a pleasure to help. Come back and visit me again. Perhaps we will. Co goodbye. It's a trap. Okay, so you can actually push things. Not clean, but it worked. You see it about in the field and down, but cannot get up, but will oft fall down. About in field and down. Ah. Amulet of Upright Man. So, what are these? Swallark, the famous mortal craftsman, guarantees his work until the end of time. This, this was totally... Ah, it's a temple. Temple so Look, Clara asks to see the high priest, and she can't see you. Turning, they noticed another hawkish looking priest have healed, hidden in the shadows of the colonnade. His eyes are streamed red. He rubbed vigorously at his face before rising to stand next to his fellow priest. Maria and I just put her up at 
but her a hour ago. She was about screaming this morning. The two priests extend a significant look, but the meaning of it was lock the lock layer. Is seal? He interrupted. No, no. The tall priest said with the assurance, "It's only a series of things that have been going on here for a short while. You will pass." You sound very upset, Uncle. Other priest said angrily. None of us has slept well in weeks. Our hero is so exhausted that he might not even find so much as a finger picked in a spine down. There's something evil at work here. The most popular looked Kellan. Why would someone be trying to keep you from sleeping? Who could do that? Both priests shrugged. The purpose is beyond that, but we know that whomever is responsible is magic and, and very close by. The shorter priest replied, I have also sensed this in his dream sendings that he has others with him. Soldiers, perhaps. I don't know, actually believe he means to communicate with us, but instead with someone far away. At the way, I don't believe any of us shall have house rest until he's dead. And or we have discovered what he wants. Okay, interesting. Okay, I can actually teleport here somewhere if I want. So a real cool start was uh, happening at uh, uh, one of the locations in in Silver Throne Thorn book. Ah, I accidentally exit. I'm pretty combat techniques. The abbot came key quickly. A man of advancing years, his hair and beard seemed to be a snowdrift, startling contrast to his dark skin, which was unbring like carefully crafted mahogany. Shaking Locrea's hand, he greeted them as he were, had known them for their lives. Welcome to Ishap Abbey, travel some Father John, how may maybe be of assistance. We thought while we were pressing through the that would be come and visit the famous abbey of Isab at Sarth. Ogler said, We have done impressive things here. The abate crinkled as he gave them prideful glance. We hope to be do more. We only began to work here, but thanks to Brother, Brother Ma Anthony and Brother Mark, we have uh, come la a long way. Ogler bit his lip hesitant to ask his guest. Could we impose your hospitality a bit? We have few questions. I would love to tow Alas have services to attend to at the moment, but if you have questions, such is place to come. We have books on many things, and if you seek other odd brother Mark, he can help you with good many other questions. Good day to you. <laughs> 